I, I Who's know first? What you, you guys had written down what you'd taken from the sag of yeah, yeah, What's the yeah, first yeah. thing you hand over to Long and, <laughs> Long and slender. Long and slender, greenish plant. Um, long and slender. Just as long and slender. <laughs> just <laughs> as long and slender. It is greenish. Okay. Long and slender. Greenish. Pull Erland out of your bag? Yeah. Clouded milfoil. He describes it to you, this long, slender plant, delicate fronds that move in response to small disturbances in the water. As an Which action, you can consume boiled, slender clouded milfoil. milfoil to gain advantage <laughs> on your next three dexterity saving throws, but disadvantage on your next three stealth checks. Uh, what's next? Uh, this, this, this speckled, uh, grainy texture. Speckled, <laughs> grainy texture. <laughs> he tells you about eel sod. Speckled grainy texture, dark brown color of the plant, makes it hard to pick out amongst the plants of the lake bed. After using an action to consume a potion, you can con use a bonus action to swallow a clump of eel sod and double the duration of the potion. <gasps> oh, oh, duration oh, only. It doesn't like double the effects of a healing That's potion, sick. but it will double the duration of a potion. Like a potion. Finally, this uh, pale yellow ribbony. Pale yellow ribbony. Thing. He describes Nuyui weed. <laughs> Pale yellow in color, several ribbons attached to the bulbous base and wraps itself around sort of fish and things that get close in the water. If you insert the ribbons strands into a keyhole and you squeeze the bulb end of the plant, oh. it breaks the lock. Oh, it, like, it like, it only works on sort of simple standard locks. It wouldn't work on like a magical or a complex lock, yeah. but you can insert it and like break the lock by right. using the new. That is cool. So I mean, these, you all have these. So two right. pale gray things. Right. He describes Delaska, a pale gray flower with a single hard wooden stem used as an alchemical ingredient as a binding agent. You can use an action to snap the stem and dab the sap onto an object or surface covering one square foot. And after letting it set for one minute, it'll hold up to 500 pounds. So you can, it's like a strong oh glue basically. <laughs> Um, and it lasts for one hour, but it does not work oh, on creatures. You can't use it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it does work on worn or carried items, so like clothing or something, but it doesn't work on organic matters. Okay. One mossy plant? Uh, you got a bit of scog moss there. Scog moss. Scog moss is, uh, leaves a greasy film on your fingers. If allowed to sit in an alcoholic beverage no larger than 16 ounces for one minute, <laughs> It will increase the beverage's potency by a factor of 10. So a single oh, drink will have the potency God. of 10 drinks. <laughs> so we can just get someone And unless a creature succeeds on a DC 20 <laughs> perception check, there's no discernible difference in the taste yeah. or smell or anything. DC any, 20? 20? Or it's a different one. Reddish lake weed. Let's get Kuzni drunk. Reddish yeah, yeah, lake weed, that's all I got. Little red rotala, very nice, very rare. As a bonus action, you can bite off the flowering end of this reddish flower with a striking red color and hold it in your mouth. So you bite it off and you hold it in your mouth. The first time you would drop to zero hit points as the result of taking damage, you drop to one hit point instead. Oh, so it can yeah. absorb like a knocking out blow. Like However, after one <laughs> round, the flower disintegrates even if you didn't use it. So you're basically uh, like, am I about oh, to go down? Hold this flower in my mouth oh, fuck. it will prevent me from <laughs> Oh my God. And then you just do the <laughs> and after and 24 hours after consuming it, you're poisoned for 48 hours. So it does Ooh, kind of it does sit po bad poorly in your stomach. And that's only if it gets utilized. Like if you put it in your mouth and it doesn't go off. Do you oh no, it disintegrates in? anyway. Okay. Yep. Oh jeez. Wow. But so I'm gonna open up the satchel. Okay. He take he like reaches in and sort of grabs a clump of what looks like kind of dirt and sort of vegetation and moss and things. Grabs it. Hmm. <sighs> What have we here? Not your typical weeds and roots you find in the forest. Dark in color, loose crumbling texture, a mixture of decomposing plant material, signs of fungal growth, white strands woven in a lattice formation. It seems you have a modest clump of developing mycanid spores. 